No one show it late night. Nothing but illustrious guys. Miro, who do we have in the building tonight? Three sisters with their powers combined. They form your band's favorite band's favorite band. Highlands in the building, y'all. All three sisters in the building. Make some motherfucking noise. Let's go. That's right, we got all three members of the legendary group Haim in the building. You know us, Bodega Hive. We saying? always reference it, Haim. You know us, always mentioning the crew over there. Our friends, shout out to Ezra, our mutuals. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out, saying? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Shout out to Ariel, the whole gang, you know what I'm saying? I want to just thank you off top, Danielle, for introducing me to Press Juices way back in the day before they were cool. You know what I'm saying? I was hoping you were going to mention that. That first time we met, we were... We were drinking gross, like, green juices at some oh, random yeah? spot. That's, that's very <laughs> L.A. And pretending it was, I it was like, I know. oh, this is so good. This is so good. Thank you. For, <laughs> was it? For, I feel like it was really gross. Yeah, it was like, really, we're really starting that, this off on a high, guys. On a high note. We're just high. On a high note. On a high note. Yeah. On a high note. <laughs> the dude was just like, yo, I'm gonna just put all the shit that tastes the worst out of Erewhon into a cup and just give it to y'all, and y'all drink it. That was Ezra's call, though, no? That was like, I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna take that one. That was like Ezra being like, he wanted me to the juice spot. Uh, like, okay. Ezra, 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 Ezra doesn't want to take the slander. Ezra, yeah. he's watching the TV like, that's not it, that's not it. That's, that's not it. Come that's on, it. man. That was, that was on, my man. call, man. Uh, yeah. It was, it was, it was just on the... It was just on the way to the art studio, man. Huh? Ezra, we're gonna throw oh. Ezra under the bus at the top of the car. At the top, right, right from the rim, right from throwing the rim. Ezra under the bus. Hi. How, how are y'all doing? How are you? How's it going? How are y'all surviving the pandemic? Mm. Y'all just uh, chilling in how inside? <clears throat> how, yeah. Just let us know what y'all doing. I mean, I don't. I I started at paint we... by numbers. That okay. Was, that was a big deal. Paint by numbers was really big for me. Um, are you still doing know. that? I gave up almost immediately because I feel like <laughs> it looks so much easier. The numbers are so tiny. I'm gonna go right. blind. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> I'm See, gonna go thing. blind, and I can't. I, I need my eyes. So yeah, I, everyone, I think I think everyone has kind of like when the when the stay at home started. Everyone tried to develop the new hobbies and stuff they never did before. People were doing puzzles and stuff, and I tried to do a puzzle. They're not fun. Puzzles not are bad hard. It's puzzles too are bad hard. There's I'm gonna tell you right now, I do mad puzzles with my kids, and they're like they max out at like 24 pieces. Then you throw a thousand piece ocean scene puzzle in front of me. Nah, bro. Nah. No. I do not have enough no. Adderall for that. Oh. No, not my at journey all. either. Definitely no. not my journey. Have you picked up any new hobbies? <laughs> I mean, I think I went, I went sort of the opposite. I mean, I at the beginning of the pandemic, you know, all three of us were st like super duper stringent about quarantining. So like we didn't see anyone at all. We mm -hmm. I, we didn't see each other. I mean, now we see each other, obviously. Right. We're, we're in a pod together, which is really nice. I miss them. Yeah. I missed them dearly before that. I, and I missed them so much. So I was like in my house at the beginning of the pandemic. I celebrated my birthday in the pan, like in the beginning of the pandemic. Literally, my birthday's March 14th. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so like, that was like was very beginning, <laughs> very beginning of quarantine. So like I baked myself a sugar-free cupcake and like, wow. like blew out the candle, like one lonesome candle and sang myself happy birthday. Wow. That is um, not depressing at all. Right. No, right. Not, not at all. I mean, not, all. you know, not dystopian, not a scene from Black no, Mirror. No, yeah, nothing. Yeah. Just no. regular, you know. So you know and then I found myself as quarantine kept continuing, you know, obviously, like I said, I missed Danielle and Alana a lot. And I found myself like talking to myself, which I think is super <sighs> like, that's fucking normal. Like you talk yeah. to I, 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 like if you if you're telling me that you don't talk to yourself, you're a goddamn liar. You're lying. Yeah, you're lying. You're, yeah, you're, you're lying. a you're lying. lying. Like, yeah, I, you're a liar. So, but then I started answering myself, which that's when you know. <laughs> you're like, yeah, hold up. That's we when it's the a problem. Here. <laughs> you know what? I would agree with you, but I've found that when I'm outside now with the face mask on, I'm having full conversations with myself, <laughs> and really? it's it's terrifying because I'm doing gestures. So if you don't know what's going you're like, on, you're like, what's... So I'm like, yeah, sh what, what are you talking about? Like, it wouldn't even do that. Like, like, I can do that myself. And like, it... Are you, but like, then the being, other... like, are you being the other side of yourself? Like, every yeah. time you, like, turn to the <laughs> side? But no, but... Like, sometimes but no. I'll get so caught up in the conversation, I have to stop to get my point across to myself. Because you're like, you're like, I need to have, like, a check-in with, like, my exactly. mental state. Like, 
so basically what I did once that happened, I was like, I like, I need to, I need to figure this out. So I had like two like exercise balls at my house mm -hmm. and I painted them one to look like Danielle and one to look like Alana. So it was Balana and Dunkiel. <laughs> and that was who I talked to for like two and a half months. Do you guys I would... still want to talk to us after this? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> you still think we're oh, cool? No. Like I'm watching your faces, and you're like, you were, you were with us for a second. You were in, and then, and then uh, the yeah. that the balls happen, you're like, okay. I'm like, all right, okay. Sorry, all right. I fucked this up. I fucked this up. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> no, it's all good. I'll Listen, this is later. therapeutic. This is therapeutic. This is therapeutic. We're for the people. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I've talked, I've talked about this people. at length. Thank you. But I'll talk about this with my therapist after this call Same. is over. I'll call her. Oh, I'll call her. Gonna, Listen, we're going to Zoom. You we're missed your sisters. We're going to have a Zoom call. You I missed your sisters. Them. There's nothing wrong with that. Listen. I'm used to you... being around them all the time. Exactly. Listen, that's the same way. I have I have uh, three sisters. It's I haven't seen them since this started. Aww. So, you know, oh, it's like... No. When you, yeah, when you grow up close, that close, Nick, you know, you always together with the four, and now you... Like, I know what you were going through. Like, when you miss your siblings, yeah. it's hard. It yeah. sucked. I talked, I mean, we talked like 17 times a day, but it wasn't the same as like, you know, uh, being able to like hug, hug them. Yeah, yeah, I hugged them. I just hugged the balls the whole time. I was just hey, hugging those hey, balls. She, hey, <laughs> she hugged the balls, bro. Hug those balls. Hug those balls. Don't ignore, don't ignore the balls. You got to hug them. Kept I, them listen, close. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. When it gets cold, you keep them even closer. Like, exactly. <laughs> but yo, like, I miss my sister so much. We're in a group chat. Is that, does that suffice? But it doesn't, right? You have to have the physical. Like, I, I saw my sister for the first time and I hugged her so much. I was like, yo, she was like, yo, get the fuck off me, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No. Like, <laughs> I was like, I, I mean, love you. <laughs> that's what it felt like. That's I I mean that's a very relatable sentiment, especially in this you family. I love you guys. Love your siblings because it's it breaks my heart when I meet people that like are like I hate my sister. I don't fuck with my yeah. sister. I don't fuck yeah. with my brother. I'm like, why? why? How? Yeah. No, because you know what it is. Like I have. You, I'm sure you guys have moments where you don't get along with them, but it's never yeah, like, yo, fuck yeah, them. Yeah, of course. Ugh. No, that happens all the time. Like, when we're doing interviews, that's, like, the number one question. Like, I hate my brothers and sisters. Like, how do you guys have a band together? And we're like, that's so weird. It just feels weird. weird. I can't even fathom it. Yeah, it's bizarre. <laughs> like, people, I, like, you have a conversation with somebody, they're like, Oh, uh, yo, yeah, no, I haven't talked to my brother in five years. I'm like, what? That's crazy. I was like, bro, uh, I was like, bro uh, we talk every day. Like, if I don't, yeah. if we go a day without speaking, I'm like, uh, are you okay? I'm just like, are you yeah. okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Like, just don't let her, no. are you okay? Yeah, same. No, my favorite yeah. is when I don't pick up the phone late at night and I get tech. Like, Danielle and Alana are like fully, like, almost like my babysitters. Like, it, mm -hmm. so full disclosure. So, I'm a type one diabetic. Okay. And I have a CGM and my blood sugar numbers are radio transmitted from this guy to Danielle and Alana's phone. Oh, wow. So they know. They're like, yo, we got to so get some OJ know. stat. Exactly. exactly. So like when my blood sugar is like on the decline uh, yeah. and, oh. and at night, I'll get like 50 missed calls from them in the morning. Being, and like the, are you okay with 700 yeah. question, question marks? marks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. I, yo, then, wow. you, man. So they like they're so they obviously like we're very literally connected. Connected. Wow. Like very connected. Oh that's um, so, like that's so, the yeah. only way that I could tell because like, my father's diabetic. So the only way that I could tell is it's like, yo, he's wild cranky right now for no reason. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Mom, get the orange juice. Yeah. He's mad as well. <laughs> exactly. Oh totally. Oh, wow. oh so, yeah. So you guys just dropped your third album in uh June. June. I don't, yo, time is time is a flat circle now. Yeah, so you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying. June like, feels like five what years is, ago. What is time? Like, what is time? Yeah, what, what is, is time, guys? What Women is time? in music. You know what I'm saying? Part three. 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 What happened to the? What happened to part two? <laughs> one. Uh, maybe <laughs> later. Maybe we'll, yeah. Maybe. Like Star Wars. We like put out part three. <laughs> Part three first, and then, the and then in like ten years we're gonna put out part two, and then Bang. part one, and then See? everyone's gonna understand the record. Everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, I get it." Oh now. shit! Get it. Now I understand. How, Boom. So how is yeah. this? So how is this album different from, say, I don't know, your classic legendary album, Forever Number One? You know what I'm saying? It had the banger. Let me go on it. Let's talk about it. 
Whoa. Damn. Yeah, Bring it back. Bring back Let Me Go. We haven't Let played me Let Me Go in in a long time. That we bro, need to that play. song. Don't oh don't don't get me tugging on the heartstrings, bro. That's <laughs> a, that's oh. a banger right there. Don't but let me love. Don't let me hear that you're music. drunk in the car. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But no, the way you guys have grown in your music from forever to days are uh, days are gone to this album. Do you like how do you feel looking back at like those earlier songs and where you're at now? I mean, we wrote our first album like over the course of like we we became a band officially in 07. Mm -hmm. Played L.A. for like seven years. No one cared. And we were writing all those songs during this kind of seven years. We were just like playing to three people mm -hmm. at like you know, the echo or whatever. Um, so it's weird. Like when you hear, when, when I think when I hear those early songs, it's like, wow, we were really doing something weird in like 08, like The Wire. I don't know if you guys know that song, but like that was mm -hmm. like written in 08. So it kind of feels yeah. like your babies in a way. It's kind of like, oh, it's like, you know, they're so old. Mm. And with this album, everything was written like within the last year. Okay. really so yeah. it feels like fresh and exciting but yeah those first the first album it, it like it's like our little baby you know yeah, yeah. And I think, yeah. like you know we again like danielle said that was like the you know it's like the age the age-old story you know like you have your whole life to write your first record right right so like yeah. all these stories and all these songs that we had written were like an accumulation of like the fuckery of our relationships with other people mm -hmm. so we had a lot to write about yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of source um, material. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of source material. So, like, and I think that at the time, you know, when we were first kind of starting and things were starting to happen, it was like, you know, I think it was. I look back on that time and I just remember like everything, every little thing. It was like, you know, we got a new follower on Facebook, and I would be right. like, oh. yeah. yeah. Oh, thank thank you. you. MySpace. MySpace. Or MySpace. Mom. But at it the same time, space. that shit Vice still happens. Gang. Yeah, I still get every little thing that happens. I'm still like so incredibly stoked. Like if someone like the other day, um, uh, I was I went to my my like normal coffee spot in Studio City, mm -hmm. and the barista and I, I go there every day. And like the barista was like, I just want to let you know, like, Women in Music Part Three was like. It, like I'm really really glad you released it when you did mm. and I started crying <laughs> yeah. Joe listen it's, it be like that you know what I'm saying yeah. to, classic like, it, classic like, hood proverb like it be like that tear, like it happens yes. tears were like projected super unhinged during this talk <laughs> as you, you just seem super unhinged You're like, I talk, I'll talk to my therapist about this too like, after hey, this call. I really like your band just break out in tears like no 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 oh god <laughs> we're here we're the bodega, we're the bodega boys are the benevolent boys with the with the with the therapy boys we're anything you want us to be we are water you know what i'm saying I, if you need if you need support <laughs> and love you. we're here you know what i'm saying thank you oh. thank you so much so are you um, anyway. speaking of that like like you so you're on the other side now now like you're like i said your your favorite band's favorite band you know what i'm saying like <sighs> what do you see coming up that you're like excited about because i remember like when i met y'all we went to some random club i don't know what it was there was a band the front the lead singer was an australian woman i don't remember the name of the band or oh the my venue God, wait yeah i know you know what i'm talking about but yeah y'all came to check them out you know what i'm yeah. saying because you were oh like yo God, they're, they're I ill i don't even remember yeah but who's that but person now i know we're the biggest music fans in general yeah. Yeah, like well, I just want if, to go if, on tour, it's like we just want to, yeah. Like, live yeah. music. Mm -hmm. Live music is like I mean we can what as Danielle said like when we were playing for those like seven years coming up like those were like the best times. All we wanted to do was play. We opened up yeah. for a water band. We literally opened up for everyone <laughs> yeah. that you could ever imagine. We were like, if you have and if you give us ten minutes, there was one time I forget where I think we were we like won a contest to open up for a band at UCLA and we were like because I went to UCLA we were like so right. excited we like got there with all of our gear and they were like you literally have five minutes <laughs> you, have, you do one song and we thought that they were kidding we were like oh okay like five minutes and they're like no literally like this is your your contest winners like you get five minutes and we had all of our shit. Like we had like fucking our guitars, our drums. Like it takes us 
20 minutes to set, to set up. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Perfect to do. <laughs> But and then you, you're like, who am I opening for? And they're like, Fred Durst. You're like, yo, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. That would wow. actually be, I wouldn't have been mad. <laughs> I, <laughs> I honestly think we played, the only song we could play was Let Me Go. It's like a five minute song to bring out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, that's like the only song we could play. It was like, we got the whole, they were about to like unplug everything and like shut the power. <laughs> that song goes oh, too yeah. long. Wow. We just loved playing live. And that was like, that's the one thing that's so heartbreaking about right now is like we just want to play live. We yeah. want to go so badly. Yeah. Same thing with us. Like we we miss those live shows. We miss the audience yeah. getting that energy from people when they come. Like yeah. there's that moment before you start playing and you look out in the audience and they they got the big smiles on their face and they're just wait. The anticipation is in the yep. air. Uh, and then the lights God. go off and everyone screams. L look out. <laughs> Everyone's Yo. screaming, and then they, then they actually see you, and then they completely lose their shit, and then you lose yep. their shit, and you're like, That's I'm about to make this part. the best night ever for them. Ever. And, exactly. Yeah. Wow. I miss that. And I we think that we just, that. we honestly just, like, we miss seeing the world together. I think that the other, the other part about, you know, touring is it's, you know, you get to see Explore. parts yeah. of the world that you never, like, I think growing up, I was like, if I can get out of like if I can go to Las Vegas and play a show, I've made it. Right. Yeah. You know, like if I can go to one state over, like the thought of like going to Australia or like the UK, mm -hmm. like Italy, like you know, I want to go to Brazil really bad. Like we want to yeah. play in Brazil really bad. Like the idea of going to those places and doing it together was like it was so out of our like realm of comprehension. Mm-hmm. And so now to be able to do it, now that I have a taste of it, I'm like, that's all I want to fucking do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Nick. dope, man. And, like, how does it feel no. for y'all to, to go to places like Brazil, like, these way out of the reach places and, like, the reach that your music has? Because y'all touch down and shit goes up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you, no matter, you could be in fucking Bulgaria and shit and, like, they're just like, yo! Dude, dude our dad's yeah, we're, Bulgarian. Our dad's Bulgarian. We're Bulgarian. We haven't played in Bulgaria yet. But I think, but talking about my parents, like, my parents never traveled together, really. Like, they they didn't, they had three kids and they had right. three kids. That's expensive. You know the, I know the vibes. I got four. See? So, the, one, of my, one of my favorite memories of all time is my dad had never been to Barcelona and mm -hmm. we were like, yeah, oh my, God. That's my, dad. my mom was like, I'm not, I'm tired. And my dad was like, I'll go. Uh -huh. And he came and met us in Barcelona and I'm not fucking with you guys. He loved it so much that he walked around like this, all like of this. this. There's like, like, <laughs> photos, like, literally like, like his arms, arms in the air. Down. And we played a festival and it was the latest time we ever, I think we played like three in the morning and we were like, mm -hmm. dad, you can go to bed. Like my dad is, I mean, he's a spring chicken, but he's my dad. Like we were like, right. dad, go to bed. Dad, like, go to he's bed. in please, his sixties. He's in his sixties. Dad, we're begging you, please go to bed. Please just go, <laughs> go to bed. bed. Like, I feel bad. And he was like, I'm staying up. And he stayed up till, I mean, we were up until like seven in the morning and my dad was the one that wanted to keep going. And I was like, oh, dad, wow. what is going on? Because this is yeah. also, <laughs> if you knew our dad, if you knew our dad, you'd be like, this is the most antithetical Moti Haya moment I've ever seen. Like, that is not my dad's journey. But he was like, I think he was just so stoked to see mm -hmm. us, yeah. like, in Spain and see us on stage. Yeah. And, like, yeah. I think that was one of his first festivals. So he had, like, never really experienced that. Mm -hmm. And he was literally, like, hopping around like a bunny. Yeah. Aww. The whole yeah, night. Listen. It's it's wild, but like when you're when your parents are not from um like uh, the United States, you know what I mean? Like that is huge for them. Yeah, like exactly. we did a show yeah. at the Hulu Theater, and my dad came and he was just like, "Yo!" And he's he's a very laid back dude, but he was back to hitting all the rum and drinking. Yo, what's up? He's like, "Jesus, hey, puppy, hey, what are you gonna do this thing? Hey, yeah, that's right, puppy, yeah." And it's just like, "Damn, I've never seen you turned up like this." But it's just like the pride that your parents have. You know, y'all you, made it. Y'all did oh, that. You know what I mean? That's yeah. all I care about. That's all. Yeah. I get. I'm gonna start tearing up. But like, I, I just want to make. SD, I know. I see. My cool <laughs> is not. My cool is lost. I'm officially not cool. Um, but no, like I think about making. I, I want to just. I just want to make my parents proud. And I think that's. You know. Well, you did that. Y'all did that. I, I were tr we're you know we're still trying. I'm gonna still keep trying. continuing to try and make people proud. You know, I want to make the valley proud. Yeah. You know, so the San Fernando Valley. You know what I'm saying? San Fernando uh, uh, Valley. 
SFV forever. I was going to get great one, a tattoo. We, we said, if we ever had a record that went number one globally, collectively, all three of us would get great one, eight tattooed on our forehead. That's you again, unhinged. That's just <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah, that's you. Like, you show up with a tattoo. No. And you're like, yo, yeah, yeah, do it. I just want to go to, I just want to go get fucked up somewhere. If that happens. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can no tattoo. tattoo. You no tattoo, tattoo, just fucked up. By yourself, but that's okay. I'm just gonna, I'm fine with just getting drunk. That's totally wow. great. Oh, so get a when tattoo that on, happens, on your yeah, I'll, I can do that. I would you love to do that. I love the 818 so much. I think it gets shit on all the time for no fucking reason. Mm -hmm. I love it here. Like, you know, I, I we had like, you know, we had like the weird, you know, session guitars for Pat Benatar. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was all like weird, like the weird session guitarists or the weird <laughs> session drummers were like in our neighborhood. It was like, so we were surrounded the by music. The thing is, the thing is, up. I'm like so terrified of needles. I could, I'm could just not, never gonna get a tattoo. It? Yeah, like, ne never gonna do it. Sorry, SD. Can y'all have no, a This one. is like you can imagine how much fun it was coming home from the doctor one day and being like, I'm diabetic and I have to take 17 shots a day, and Danielle looking at me like. Better you Damn. than me, dude. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, Damn. it had to be you. Damn. Oh. Listen. I'm truly oh. terrified. Oh. Listen, Haim, thank you for sitting out and chopping it up with us. You know, we, we listen, yeah. we appreciate yeah. it to yeah, all best. link up. You know, this has been meaning to happen. And hopefully when it's all said and done, we could do it in real life. Get some yes, nasty press juices. Please. Eat some sugarless yeah. cookies. You know <laughs> the back. vibes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rep the 818, you know it. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? If the yeah. menu's not written in chalkboard, we don't want it. Exactly. So listen, <laughs> all our illustrious guests, you know the vibes. At the end of every interview, yes. everyone gets a neon sign. There yeah, are, yeah. you have blessed us with three, the full Heim. So you guys get three separate neon signs. Oh, what no, would you, we didn't prepare for this. Oh, prepared, you can do one. Can we just, well, you're going to do one. one. You're going to do one? Okay. All right. <laughs> This is I'm, a big I'm, moment for us, by the way. This is okay. Yeah, this is big. For us. This is All big. Right. I, I feel like you worked on this, so. <laughs> okay. All right. What does your so neon sign say? All right. Hear me out. So every time we go to New York and we see a bodega, it says hot food, right? Right. So ours would say hot juice. Hot juice. Yeah. <laughs> hot juice. Uh, shout out to the tribe. Yeah. Hot juice. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to you again. Yeah. Yo, give it up for Haim, the homies in the building. Nice. New music in the stores right now. You know the vibes out here. Yo, thank you for sitting down and talking to us. We love you guys so much. Now. This is so cool. We hope yeah, that I wasn't too much of a psychopath. Nah, that was beautiful. No, that, that was listen. that was real. That was authentic. That was y'all. That was the real y'all. That's what this show is about because your All boys right. are about to log out just like you and hit up Dr. Kathy for this health, very healthy yes. gossip session. Let's Great. go. Great. <laughs> so listen, Great. thank you so Great. much. Thank All you right. guys. Bye, so guys. Much. Thank you. Take care.